want you to be, be aware, okay? So when you, when you work for other industries, okay, uh, not in computer science, okay, then you will see like, a, you know, patient data analysis be, is uh, much more frequently mentioned, okay? Or like, uh, for example, like uh, in uh, uh, insurance company, okay? You know, the insurance company, they, they have like, uh, um, they need to, you know, this make decision for certain, like a uh, uh, um, you know big investment. Okay, um, I mean they uh, we we know like a, like a, um, people in uh, in I mean recently like a Taiwan uh, insurance company screw up right like because like uh, they 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 assume like uh, Taiwan will never be affected by COVID nineteen, but. But uh, so they, they sell the, the COVID-19, you know, insurance policy to a lot of people. But, uh, but the situation is, the, obviously, their decision is wrong, okay? What's wrong? So, so they, they, they lost a lot of money, okay? But anyway, just want you to understand, okay? The patient data analysis is, uh, is an important tool in many fields, uh, pharmaceutical and uh, insurance company. I mean, all of them use like a patient data analysis instead of AI math. I'm not saying AI math is bad, but like, uh, but even for now, okay, this industry, this company still use patient data analysis a lot. Okay, so for traditional, for traditional statistics course, okay, um, you know, um, you know, they, they, I mean, they basically teach a collection of recipe that more or less like, uh, you know, they go to the statistical pantry, pick one can, uh, one tin can, and open it and add data to taste and just stir it until obtain a consistent p-value, okay, uh, under 0 0.05. So the main goal, okay, uh, of traditional uh, uh, statistics is to teach you how to pick the proper method, okay, proper case, the proper method, okay? So this approach is not ideal because uh, the most common result, okay, is, uh, is uh, you, have, you leave a lot of like, uh, you know, confused people, unable to grasp like uh, the concept the, of the, like a different method, okay? So this is like, um, like a traditional statistics. Uh, uh, the, the issue with the traditional, traditional statistics. I mean, um, in patient data analysis, okay, still you will, see, you will learn some recipe or you will learn some methods, okay, but this will be homemade after, I mean, rather than the canned food, okay, what, what does that mean? Okay, it means like uh, you have a lot of things to, that you can decide, okay, in all, the, all those methods. Okay, um, for example, like uh, the prior, okay, or, um, you know, uh, we will talk about this in detail anyway. So, so we will learn how to mix fresh ingredients and uh, we'll, you know, suit different, like, uh, occasions. And uh, more importantly, okay, that will lead you to apply concepts beyond the examples of this book, okay. So, Basically, okay, here, okay, the examples we used, we, we, you learned, you, you, you observe in this book, I mean, can be carried over to a lot of, I mean, different uh, questions, different problems, okay? And uh, do we have prerequisite for this class? To be honest, I mean, if you're talking about like a Bayesian data analysis, if, if you use this textbook, the second one, then I will tell you, yeah, we need a lot of like a prior knowledge, okay. But uh, um, you know, since we are using, we are focusing on how to do the patient data analysis. So you know, I'm not going to emphasize too much on the theory part. So you know the mathematical prerequisite is really not that much, okay? You do need to understand basic algebra and the basic calculus, okay? Things like this, 
Th this is not difficult, right? Okay. Or is it? Uh, you know, very simple, like a, like a differentiation in, in integral. I mean, uh, everybody, uh, hopefully, like you, you learn that well I mean, from your high school and uh, first year, like uh, college, okay? And uh, the algebra that I'm talking about is not college level algebra. I'm talking about uh, high, uh, like a uh, high school algebra, okay? So, so really like uh, uh, not much prerequisite, I mean, for this class, okay? But we do expect, I mean, you guys to have basic programming experience, okay? Especially uh, uh, in Python, okay, in Python. Okay, you need to learn the basics of Python, okay? Because, well, we are going to use that, I mean, for this class, okay? Um, a lot of examples uh, built on top of uh, the Python experience, okay? And uh, because Python is uh, uh, one of the most popular scripting languages, so I suppose, like, uh, you know, you guys uh, have no problem with that. If you, if you don't have background in Python, you do need to pick it up quickly, okay? And uh, in, you know, we know like Python has different version, okay? So we will use Python 3.6 and the PyMC3 and the RVs, okay? Uh, PyMC3 and RVs, these are the two package, okay? Um, that uh, are very, uh, uh, that, that will be used for data analysis, okay? So, in, for this software, of course, you need to install them, okay? Um, for Python 3.6, okay, uh, or later, okay, if you, if you have a newer version, that should be fine, okay? Um, Python count has diff very many different distributions, like PyPy and uh, 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 CPy, you know, but uh, I will recommend Anaconda, okay? The reason to an recommend Anaconda it's because like uh, it comes with a lot of like uh, uh, mathematical tool or okay, building, okay? And uh, so you can go to this website to download it and uh, install it, okay? Uh, after you install the Anaconda, okay? In the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, in the, uh, like uh, prompt, you just type Conda install, okay? To install uh, PyMC3. And also you can use PIP to install RVs, okay? And uh, alternative uh, uh, way is to install, uh, to install this, net, this package is like uh, you download this, um, you know, uh, environment, environment file, okay? Called BAP.YML. And then use a Conda environment create, okay? To, to which will automatically install all this uh, uh, package for you, okay? So basically, you need a computer, obviously, okay? Uh, but uh, because this course is listed under computer science, so I, I think this shouldn't be a surprise to you, right? Okay, so you, you do need a computer and uh, to customize your environment to, for this class, okay? So, as I said, like, uh, uh, um, we do need to talk a little bit about Bayesian, right? In, this, in the first class. So what is Bayesian inference? Okay, the most simple description for Bayesian analysis is one sentence. Reallocation of credibility across possibilities. Okay, you understand every word here, right? but it may not be so obviously to you. Let me explain. When we say credibility, remember I told you in Bayesian, credibility, just like a belief, okay, they are a different way to call probability. Okay, so you can say it's a reallocation of probability. Okay, of course, what is possibilities? Possibilities here refers to outcomes, okay? For different outcomes, okay, I mean, you have different probability, right? So 
you try to allocate different probabilities to a uh, uh, different outcome, right? But uh, sometimes you need to reallocate, reallocate your probability to different outcome. Why? Because you observe some, uh, you, you, you learn something new. For example, like uh, I, example I just mentioned, okay, I think candy will win. But uh, after you observe some stupid things, I mean, uh, can, stupid candy, like, uh, you know, behavior, you say, oh, I will, I will reallocate, I will reallocate my probability. Okay? So this is really about common sense. Okay? So when you see the floor is wet, okay, an example is like this. If you, when you see floor is wet, what can you infer? Like, uh, like uh, when you go out, okay, and, uh, and uh, you see, okay, uh, like today, like, uh, well, today was, was it raining? Uh, not raining, okay. But anyway, like if you see the floor is wet, okay, outside, okay, it could be because of rain, right? Okay, it could be because of the drink spilled. Somebody drink like a Coke, Coke and, uh, you know, accidentally spilled on the, on the ground, on the floor, and uh, which caused the floor to, wet, to be wet, okay? And it could be dog pee, right? You know, we have a lot of dogs in, uh, in, at NCU, right? Um, I think we have a short, short a dog shelter very, near, uh, very close to our department, right? Okay, so those like uh, uh, um, very kind people always bring like a dog around, okay? Maybe dog pees, okay? That caused the flow to be wet, okay? So, so what happens? All these A, B, C are possible, you can say they are outcome. Well, well really like, uh, um, when we say outcome, it seems to have like, uh, you know, uh, you are doing something and you have an outcome, right? Okay, so it has like uh, some, outcome seems to be come from like, uh, like after, a certain event, okay? But uh, here, okay, it could be, you know, this, uh, probably shouldn't use the, the term outcome, we, c we should use like uh, the cause, right? The cause, okay? Because you see the floor is wet. This is the observation, right? So you have several ways to explain that, right? Okay, so, so still, okay, you, you have to allocate the probability for these three uh, 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 causes which may cause the floor to be wet, right? If you don't know anything, what do you do? If you don't know anything, what do you do? You say, oh, the simplest way is like, uh, I just like uh, 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 allocate my probability to be one third, one third, one third, right? Okay, one third probability uh, is because of the rain. One third probability because the drink spilled. One third probability because of dog pee, okay? But when you, you know, look at the sky and you found that, well, the sky is, uh, is, is, is sunny, okay? Today is sunny. I mean, there's no cloud at all. What does that tell you? It tells you that the chance for the rain to cause the floor wet is not very likely, right? Okay? So the chance, the pro or like a probability of this option is going down, right? It's going down. So the probability for the second and the third causes, you know, should increase, right? Because of your observation, because you just look at the sky, right? And this is exactly what I mentioned by reallocation of probability, right? Right? And this is 
Well, this is obviously a common sense, right? Everybody do that, right? Right? Okay. Everybody, is, I mean, you, you can always estimate, do certain simple estimation, like uh, based on your observations. That's, that's always the case. Okay. Um, even if you don't do that, okay, at least you should learn it from, from, from comic books, right? I mean, I assume that you, you guys do, do read comic books. No? No? If you don't read comic books, then you lost like 20% uh, of your like, uh, fun okay, in life. Okay, uh, just kidding. But uh, you know, I, 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 even, even, even for now, I, I, I read comic books right, from time to time. Like, uh, what's that? One Piece. It's, it's out every Friday. Okay. Yeah. So you, you know this sentence, right? When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. You know this, right? Okay. For older people, we say, oh, this comes from Sherlock Holmes. Okay. For younger people, they, they say, oh, it comes from uh, uh, Jiang Hu Chuan Kernan. Right? Okay. Because this, this sentence has been mentioned many, many times in the novel and the comic books. And this is also a very, uh, all pretty much equivalent to this reallocation of credibility across possibility, basically. Okay? Let me use a figure for, to illustrate what we are doing here. Okay? Say we have four possible outcomes for event, okay? Uh, um, for, for example, like uh, uh, in an election, in an election, we have four candidates. If we don't know better, we don't know anything better, at the end of election, one of them will win, right? One of them will win. So if I ask you to do an estimate, who will win? If you don't know better, then we'll say, oh, then I will allocate like a one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. Okay, the chance of winning the election for each candidate to be one fourth. That's the the most uh, intuitive, most naive um, estimation, anyway. Right? Okay, we call this prior. Okay, we call this prior because well, that's probably based on my. Uh, 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 past experience, because obviously, I mean, uh, uh, if you are into politics, maybe you will say, oh, certain uh, a candidate will have better chance of winning. But if you are not into politi politics, then you may say, oh, just one force for everyone. Okay? So that's your prior. After you observe certain events, for example, candidate A you know, do something stupid, then the chance of A to win the exaction is diminished. It's diminished. So because the chance of A to win is diminished, so the chance of B, C, and D to win increase, right? Are increased, okay? So um, B, C, D now have like one third of the chance to win the election. Okay, so this is the, as I said, this is the posterior. After you observe that A is impossible, A, can you A do something stupid, right? So the, the probability for every candidate change, right? Not just for candidate A, but for everyone. Okay, and then, okay, this thing will become the prior, okay, in the next observation, okay? So this will become your prior here. And uh, unfortunately, B, well, maybe B, like, uh, decided to to withdraw from the candidate, from the exam, from, from the election, 
withdraw from election, then B is impossible. So uh, once again, the chance for C and the D to win the election increased, right? From one third to 50%, right? Again, the probability of the outcome are re reallocated, right? Reallocated. So this, w you know, this prior, okay, this is a prior, but uh, after you observe B is impossible, again, this will become your posterior, okay, posterior. And then you can repeat something similar and eventually, oh, you, you are pretty sure D will win the election because C is eliminated. So this elimination process is exactly just like here. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Right? So, but this is common sense, right? This is common sense. But uh, in, in, in reality, in reality, okay, uh, the outcome of, F, I mean, the, 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 the possibilities or outcome, okay, and, you know, data are noisy. And, uh, you know, and the, because of that, okay, you can see the probability, okay, for each, possibility is actually represented in a distribution instead of just uh, a simple probability number, right? So they are represented by, you know, each, the probability of each outcome is represented by a distribution, probability distribution, okay? And also the inferences are also prob probabilistic. Okay, so for example, okay, when you observe certain thing, okay, well the chance for one, for, 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 uh, no, for an event, uh, for a, a, a possibility may reduce, but uh, normally you, you will not be, re, uh, re, I mean, you will not be reduced to zero. It will be, re, it will be reduced to, you know, something like this. I mean, of course, some other, no outcome, the probability increase. But um, again, this, all this will be represented by a distribution instead of just a simple number. Okay? So, in this class, you are going to learn how to do this. Okay? That's the basic idea of uh, Bayesian data analysis. Okay, we are going to learn how to do this in this class. Okay? So a key step in Bayesian data analysis is defining the set of possibilities over which credibility is allocated. Let me keep reminding you, these possibilities are either outcome or causes, I mean, you know, of a certain event, okay? So, uh, probability here, again, refer to probability, okay? So, but, uh, you know, identifying all the possible outcomes or all the possible causes actually is non-trivial. It's non-trivial. A lot of time, I mean, for example, like, uh, okay, remember the, the floor is wet example. I say, oh, because of the rain, because of the drink spilled, because of the dog peas, okay? It could be other re reason. For example, like uh, somebody is, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, um, you know, water the garden, okay? You know, somebody like, uh, like, uh, like uh, you know, or there are obviously many, many possible explanations, okay? why the floor is wet. Here, we just mentioned three, right? But, uh, but uh, you know, to find out all the possible uh, uh, outcomes, 
or like causes for uh, the floor is wet, it's actually non-trivial because like for every, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, possibility, you basically need to allocate, uh, 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 you know, a certain credibility to it, a certain pro probability distribution to it. Okay, so. Um, here I'm trying to use a pharmaceutical example, okay? So let's consider example of the blood pressure drug. Oops, Oops. sorry, it's, uh, I, I, I skipped the, the break. I suddenly, re I mean, I mean realized that, uh, sorry. But uh, don't you guys feel like a strange, like a, like a, I mean, we, we, do you hear like a, like a bell ring? I mean, I think like uh, starting from this semester, the, the bell is not ringing for some reason. Okay, I, I, at least I, I didn't hear that, yeah. L let me finish this. I mean, this is the last slide for, this, uh, for, for, for today, okay? I mean, for this uh, introduction, okay, quick in introduction, okay? So, so, so consider, okay, this example for the blood pressure drug. Okay, in which blood pressures are measured in one group that took the drug and in another group that took the placebo. Do you guys know what placebo is? Anwei ji. Okay, because like, uh, you know, uh, if you don't give drug to, 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 to patient, patient will feel like uh, they, are, they are abandoned. Okay, so they, because of the, this pressure, I mean, they will affect their, you know, uh, vital signs, okay? So when they do, uh, in pharmaceutical com companies, when they do ex experiments, they will give placebo, okay, to, uh, to the patient, I mean, uh, um, you know, um, uh, in case if they don't need anything, okay? Uh, and no, no patient knows which, which, which pill is drug, which pill is placeable, okay? This will not be revealed until uh, uh, at the end of uh, uh, analysis, okay? We call it 解盲, 解盲, okay? Remember like, uh, um, uh, the academic cynica, uh, um, um, What's the name of that guy? Um, Wong, Wong Smo. There's a quite famous uh, uh, guy who, who, who developed a drug, I mean, and uh, the, I mean, the experiment result was, was a failure, but, uh, you know, they didn't know that until, you know, the result was revealed, okay? But anyway, okay. Let's use uh, this class as example. Okay. Assume you guys are all have blood pre like a, all have high blood pressure problem. Okay, and uh, then okay, maybe you no, know, I separate people from, I mean, I don't know, I don't know, at here. Okay, the the students on my right hand side will take the real drug for blood pressure. The student on my, on my left hand side will take the press ball. Okay? And then, okay, after, um, say, half a year, oops, sorry, after half a year, if like, uh, um, after half a year, like uh, I, I try to, you know, the, the, the doctor diagnosed every, every, every one of you again. And they, the doctor find out, well, um, um, about 10 students in this group improve the blood pressure problem uh, uh, is like uh, reduced, okay? But when the doctor examined this placebo group, they found that, okay, five of them blood pressure problem was alleviated. So here I say like a 10, this is, this group we have five, right? 
So, you know, how much differences between these two groups will be considered the drug is effective. If you just based on, okay, whether or not there will be people, there will be, uh, you know, people who gets improved, okay, based on the, you know, I mean, the, 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 the 